Whoa. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh my god, hello everyone. Donut here, don't worry, there's not a three minute ad in this video. We're gonna talk about something we've never talked about before on this channel. That is a viral video that has zero context that millions of people are mad about and making threats to police and making threats to me and just being general assholes. If you are one of the 122,000 people who joined my channel in the last 28 days, I just wanna thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching my videos, and I would like to inform you that there is a playlist on my channel called Larry Liar Pants on Fire, where we look at these videos, and we break them down, and we figure out what really happened. Why is everyone so mad? Blue man, bad. Dumbass review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a video filmed and posted on Instagram. It was filmed by a lady known as Blue Esdasky. Blue as the sky. Blue, blue as the sky. The video is approximately four minutes, 50 seconds long. For fair use purposes, we're gonna watch the video right, right here. And my big stupid face is gonna be right here in the corner. Fair use, all day. Where is my high tech software? We need my high tech software for this one because there's a lot of people who watch this and don't understand anything about Crossfire or, <laughs> or, or anything in general. So lots of little mouth breathers lurking in these comments. All right, high tech. Crime recreation software, let's recreate this. Suspect, cop, car, cop, shooty shoot, person filming. As you can see, the person filming is in the line of fire by her own doing. There's another cop. They're saying, get your hands up, get your hands up because his hands aren't up. Another cop. We are on the corner of Prairie and El Segundo. Two more cops with shooty shoots. The female officer you see on the left side of that patrol car has a meanie greenie that shoots out rounds. And they have their guns drawn on this young black man right here. And? Why are your guns pulled on this young man? I ain't got no weapons. Let me point something out. She has nothing to do with this situation. She doesn't know who that is. She's not involved in any of this. She's not the one that called police. She's she's just walking by and gets in the line of fire of a bunch of cops and a dude who she doesn't know. Does he have a gun on him? I don't know. Apparently a lot of people on Twitter just think cops are like Superman can see through clothing. He has no weapons on him. We live right she could see through his clothes too. Thank God she's there to inform the police that he doesn't have weapons on him. Right now, we are so alive. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Last name, William. William. Are you gonna shoot him? Are you gonna shoot him? Okay, relax, baby. Relax. Relax, because they will shoot you. They killed my boyfriend in 2015. Yes, he was killed by the police. You gonna shoot Jesus, look at that, dude. It's pointed right at her. She's gonna stand there. Me too, right? For filming, right? We live. Look at that big ass gun she got on this man with no weapon. Those are out rounds. That won't that won't kill him. All right, so um, one thing I want to talk about uh, that's being brought up a lot in the Twitter comments is, well, why did they have so many guns on him? Uh, in a gunfight or in any dangerous situation going into it, you want to have superiority in, a, in the firefight, superiority with bigger guns, superiority with more people. If he decided to pull a gun and you have a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, let's say there's only one cop there, well, that cop has very slim chances of making it through that. But if you have two cops there, the odds get better. If you have three cops, the odds get even better. Four cops, 
that's great. If you have five or six cops there and they're all pointing a gun at him and he wants to pull his own gun out, well, he's not even going to be able to get a shot off. Wait till we get into the meat and taters of this whole thing about what's really going on here. My boyfriend name was Leroy Browning and he was killed December 15th. Leroy Browning. Oh, her boyfriend uh, fell asleep in a Taco Bell drive through he ran into the side of the building. Police were called. Police were placing him into the back of the car, and he started fighting with police. Browning, her boyfriend, propelled the struggle onto the ground, landing on top of one of the cops. While the deputies tried to pull Browning off of another deputy, he attempted to unsuccessfully pull one of the officer's firearms from the holster of his gun belt. Immediately after that, he tried to pull another officer's gun from his gun belt, tugging it violently several times. During the struggle for control of his firearm, uh, the officer repeatedly shouted that Browning was trying to get his gun or had gotten his gun. The combined efforts of the four deputies could neither pull Browning away from the officer nor break his grip on his gun belt. Fearing for his life, one of the officers fired se his service weapon five times, fatally striking him. I don't know why she's actually wanting to tell people about her drunk boyfriend who fought four cops and tried to pull their guns out of their holsters. But anyway, that's relevant to the story, according to her. I got a Taco Bell. This is crazy to me. Look, my car is right there. I was getting gas. I don't understand why y'all got guns drawn on him right now. Are y'all about to kill this man? Like, look at these big-ass guns they got. If you don't know why they have guns drawn on him, then maybe you shouldn't interfere. Look at this man right now. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Baby. Can y'all just put your... All right, we got our first command. We have the officer who arrived on scene. It looks like she's taking control of it. She says, stand up and walk slowly to to uh, to my voice. Walk backwards to my voice. Guns away and somebody get them. Stop my voice. My name is William, not suspect. Don't move. Don't move. Please don't move. Can somebody just come get them? Can somebody put your guns down and get them, please? Don't rip. We're going to stay behind our cover and you're going to come to us. That is basic police procedure. A lot of people are saying, well, hey, why did they just sit there for two minutes and not go cuff him? That's that's what you do. You don't give anyone the advantage. Don't resist him, okay? All right, so they finally move in. They got the non-lethal on him. They got lethal on him and they cuff him. <laughs> Why are y'all pulling him over with so many guns and he's unarmed? My name is Guy. How the fuck does she know he's unarmed? I'm really, I'm, I really want to learn her secrets so I can teach it to police and they can see through clothing. My boyfriend was killed by the LA County Sheriffs in 2015. Your boyfriend tried to kill some cops. Okay. We got a call of a, a robbery, and he loosely matches the description of just detaining him, okay? While we investigate, all right? We're not saying he's a suspect, but we gotta figure out what's going on, all right? So try and relax. So we can it says a weapon was involved. That's the only reason why he gets. Okay. So. Uh, that's the video. There's what? There's like two minutes left of it. If you want to go watch the video, I'll put a link to it in the comments below. You can go watch that video. The officer just explained it to her. He said, we got a call of a robbery. He loosely matched the description. So we stopped him. Bing, bang, bongo. That's that's it, right? Let me point something out also. These aren't the feelings, police. Apparently, it's, it's bad to say that he matched the description. What's better? They detain the guy who matches the description of an armed robber. Or they look at him and they say, well, I don't want to hurt that guy's feelings. He, he may not be the robber. I'm just going to continue on with my day. Which, by the way, he was the robber. Twitter, my favorite place in the world, Twitter. Let's go ahead and look at that. Hey, get out of the, get out of the way, high-tech recreation software. Dance Grounded said, This black woman saved this man's life. Ow. Saved this man's life. Listen to the trauma and pain in her voice. She didn't save shit. She's being held a hero online for saving this man's life, but she didn't save shit. She's actually kind of dumb. All she did was put herself in danger and make it harder for the police to do their job. Of course... We're going to bring up the white mass shooter thing. I've talked about that before. This is racial profiling. They had the entire police force draw guns on this one black man for fitting the description of an armed robber. Imagine the everlasting trauma this would have on an innocent person because they fit the description. Oh, also, the large gun is being pointed at Sky, the woman filming this. This woman risked her own life to save this man. That's a, that's a beanbag gun. You know, of course, all the shit comes with it. People are saying, oh, well, they stood there for so long because they wanted for they wanted him to make the wrong move so they could just kill him because that's what they like doing. 
You're all fucking stupid too. That one had 1.58 million views. We have the classic This Is America with 1.64 million views. And they had hella guns drawn on a man with no weapons to ask questions. Again, it's these people are amazing on Twitter. They can see through his clothing. Don Salmon says state-sponsored terrorism against blacks. And he's retweeting Tariq and shit. Of course he is. This has 2.6 million views. Woo! I jumped at all these and I'm like, this is a textbook high-risk stop. You're all overreacting. There's nothing wrong here. Someone says criminal gets arrested and nothing news water wet. And this girl says, but he wasn't a criminal though. They released him. Oh! Oh, what does the police department have to say about this? I will leave a link to this below. We're just going to sum it up. I don't want to sit here and read this whole thing. It's almost like having to watch a three minute ad, right? On Friday, June 7th at around 6.45 a.m., an officer on routine patrol was at the intersection of blah, 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 when she observed people on the corner gas station trying to get her attention. An employee of the gas station pointed to a male subject who had walked across the street, stating that he had just assaulted an employee and walked out of the store. Simultaneously, a witness called 911 to report a robbery had just occurred at the location and that there were possible weapons involved. So you have probably the first female officer we, we saw on scene, scene saw, saw scene there, and she's got her gun out. Of course, you can see when she pulls up, she's got the guy on his knees because two people just said he fucking hit us and we think he has weapons. The officer drove across the intersection to detain the subject that the store employees were pointing to. After assisting officers arrived, the subject was handcuffed and detained for further investigation. Good job. Officer determined that William had walked into the AMPM Mini Mart with another unidentified subject, along with Freeman, and began arguing with the female cashier over a prior purchase. William then walked behind the counter where the cashier was standing and forcibly grabbed store items from the display. The female cashier attempted to stop him, at which time she was assaulted by him. Employees were able to force them out of the store while outside an employee was hit by a trash can in the face thrown by William. So the innocent man who did did nothing wrong right here on his knees just committed a strong-armed robbery you may ask yourself well how's that a robbery uh when, when you use force to steal something like from a store that counts as strong-armed robbery so he just robbed a store and assaulted two people and they don't know if he has a gun on them the person on the phone said hey he, he might have weapons on him of course this video that i'm currently making is gonna get uh what like 300,000 views maybe 400,000 and this video right here that this video right here has already gone viral. It's got like six or seven million views just on Twitter, not to mention all the news stories that shared it and all the headlines that people read about the police having this poor innocent man down on his knees with all these mean big bad black guns pointed at him. Because I love you all, I'm gonna keep fighting the good fight. I'm gonna keep making videos like this. This is driving me crazy too. His feet are clearly visible there. I don't know why they didn't pepper spray them. Why didn't they 40 Mike Mike his elbows? Why didn't they tase his feelings? So, uh, good job, Hawthorne police. Fantastic job. Oh my God, look, I made some friends today. Let's look at my new friends. I made friends, let's look at my friends. J, Twitter tag at Ailes, J98 says, no weapon, right, you dumbass? 10 plus cops and guns everywhere for a weaponless man? Makes sense. You stupid MF, I'll smack the fuck out of you. <laughs> Little baby boo-boo bitch won't do nothing. Master Jedi Super Tramp at tag Dan 4 -Z -I -V -K -O -V -I -C, said, hey, since you're a veteran police officer, I just wanted to say fuck. Thank you. Oh, this is awesome. I don't have very much to say other than I love you guys and thank you for all of the new support. And I would like for you to go follow my Instagram for my skate shop that I'm starting. It's 5 -O Skate Shop. You can find it on Instagram, of course, at 5 -O Skate Shop. Until next time, I'm going to be at E3 until Saturday. So I don't know how much content I'm going to be pushing out this week. Hopefully I'll get some E3 live streams going though at twitch.tv slash donut operator so you guys can see some of the cool video games and stuff they have there. Other than that, uh, donutoperator.com, patreon.com slash donut operator, and everyone, please have a fantastic day.